Welcome to Lifestyle 360, your one stop for fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. My name is Shay Adenawa, your lifestyle guru and connoisseur, and I'll be your host on the show today. You know that popular saying about money makes the world go around? Well, today we are talking about money, money, money. <laughs> So we brought someone on the show today to give us insight onto financial literacy. Now, it's not just about, you know, talking about buying clothes, wearing makeup, doing this. You need to be financially independent. So our guest is going to give us a couple of things about financial management, budgeting, savings, you know, that will, be in, that will be beneficial to you in your 20s and your 30s. It's important for you to store up your gold now so that you can enjoy and be resting when your mates are also resting instead of working, working, working. And after that, there's some things that you need to include in your lifestyle to just be the best version of yourself. And like I said, I have someone that is an expert at these things. So when I return after the break, I'll be introducing our guest. Welcome back to Lifestyle 360. It is still Shay, and she's still here talking about moolah. Remember I told you that we had a guest on the show, and she's going to give us a lot of insights into this money thing I've been talking about. And it is none other than Toke Oluo. Now, let me, let me hype her small. Smalo, she is the CEO of SDTC Clothing. That is just one aspect. She has a property company. She dishes out regularly on social media, business advice, anything. In fact, anything about being an entrepreneur, she's giving out free consultation. Like I have kidded into so many of her sessions online. And trust me, you're going to benefit from them as well. So, Madam Toke, I have to call you Madam because <laughs> This your blouse, it is absolutely beautiful. I'm getting the Madame Mogul ah, ah, entrepreneur vibe. Thank vibes. you, thank you so much. How you look very good. Thank and you, you know, so um, much. I'm talking about money today, so I, I have to you look have the You have to part. look the part. Yes, I love that. Yes, so thank you so much. Hi, guys. <laughs> so, it's okay. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Now, you know I've hyped you a little, but there's no way, there is literally no way I would have covered everything. So can you tell us a bit more about you? Hmm. Okay, so my name is Adetoke Olugo. I am a fashion entrepreneur. I own SGTC Clothing, which is um, um, an acronym from a blog I had like um, almost 10 years ago, Style wow. Goes to Church. Everything pretty much started on social media, Instagram, and... Um, my be okay, yeah, so like I said, I'm a fashion entrepreneur. I'm a UK trained screenwriter. I'm a TV producer. Okay. I have so many feathers she has on my so top. many accolades. <laughs> but everything started from one picture on social media. Oh, wow. And I'll be sharing my secrets on the show today. Okay. Okay, so now we know how um, there's a lot going on about financial inclusion, especially for women. Women, mm. women have come out of their shell. They no longer want to depend on daddy's money, hubby's money. You know, everybody is thinking about either going into business, investment, thinking about buying stocks, buying Bitcoin, all those things. Can you give us um, some tips on financial management that you think will be mm. very helpful now that you're in your 20s and your 30s? Because one thing I know about finance is it's better to start early. early. Right. Okay. So what do you have to tell us today? Well, how many hours do we have? <laughs> because... <laughs> Seriously, we need, this is a very, very um, educative, informative um, 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 topic. Like, people need to know about these things early, like mm -hmm. you said. There is nobody that is too young to be a billionaire. It is very all true. about planning. I started late. I knew about these things late. So I'm going to be sharing secrets I found out late. One thing that would um, help you when it comes to financial literacy and all that, you need to believe in yourself first. You need to know that you can. You need to know that you are enough. And this is why the Bible says what? Out of our bellies flows rivers, rivers of living. Like, water. you need to believe in 
all things, your faith is paramount in business, as a staff working for someone else, as anything. If your self-esteem is low, there's nothing <laughs> that would happen unless Very God, true. you know, you need to believe you can first because many people are so talented. Many people are so vibrant, but they're like, oh, when I marry a rich man, I'll be all right. No, you will no. not be okay. Why? Because God made you, you are your own being. Mm -hmm. you, you don't need to attach yourself to someone. Oh, my daddy's money. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is the right time to look inwards and, you know, bring out all these resources that God has already given to you. That is one. You need to believe in yourself. Two, you need to educate yourself. Mm -hmm. Most times, especially women, we are like laid back. Permit me to say, yes. you know, we are like, ah, when I marry a rich man, oh, my daddy, my daddy, my brother, my... No, you are your own entity. So you need to educate yourself. And when I say educate yourself, I don't mean go back to school because... Of course, there are yeah. so many people who don't even, they've never gone to school to and they school are doing and yes. so well. You need to educate yourself. You need to find, you need to set time, like to discover who you are. Because with who you are, with what you have in you, you can become anything, right? Because in, if, you, if, if you don't take time to research, to learn about yourself, opportunities will be dancing in front of you and you would never be able to recognize these opportunities. And I'm going to share secrets, just stay with me. Next thing, right, you need to surround yourself with the right people. Mm. Now, I discovered money on social media. Like I was, um, I, I'm, I was a, an active TV producer then working for a TV company. I was getting ready for London Fashion Week and someone, I wore Ankara, mm. like very bright, short dress. I just posed because I love pictures and i'll tell you why i'm sharing this story and someone saw that picture from london and the person said oh wow i love what you're wearing i would like you to make one thousand pounds worth of what you are wearing that was how my business started oh, wow. yes which is another way to make money your passion will give you wealth hmm. your passion will bring money you need to sit down and say you know what what am i good at what is that thing people come to you for? Like you are the best at it. Do you know how to decorate? Do you know how to make up? Do you know how to talk? Like you are, nobody comes to you and live the same. Like when they come to you for advice, you would give the best. You can make money off it. And that is where the world is going to now. Like it's, it's, it's now beyond the... Um, corners of oh, school like the you know but it's also still important to, to go to school of right? course very important because, because you know you, there's some um, aspects of finance that are far more elaborate than what you any resource you would actually find online so if you um, find yourself interested in that type it's definitely advisable to go to school if you have to right of course of course and when you go to school it, it would boost your self-esteem too mm. because naturally you would be like oh i'm you know i'm educated i can talk i can go to these places now the person saw what i was wearing i i just posed confidently right and she was impressed nobody knew i couldn't even like i don't even sew and i have a fashion empire it's education me going all out researching so when it comes to financial literacy it's like it's financial literacy you need to educate yourself you need to equip yourself with information one way like i said your passion can bring money okay right now um landed property you are not too <laughs> you are not too young to own properties i've worked with people that are like 10 time, 10 years 15 years younger and i'm like gosh when did you start investing in property you see that property that is like whatever 500,000 naira you know just near your house buy it and keep it rather than invest in hair. There's time for everything, mm. right? Another thing you can invest that I agriculture, mm. people would always eat all over the world. Food is so big. And this is why you need to research. Who are the people? Where do I go to? There are so many platforms online. Exactly. With agrotech now, they've even made it so easy that you can literally just go on apps, mm -hmm. like agrotech-based mm -hmm. apps, and then you, even they tell you where the farmland is, they'll you know, show you the whole investment portfolio. You can assess it. You know how much you're getting in returns. You mm -hmm. know how, how and when you will get your returns. And Sometimes how much? Sometimes the payouts are even given ahead of time. So once you invest, exactly. you're getting your payout exactly. straight up. Exactly. I, I, I invest 
collecting um, like pig farming, mm. um, rice. You'd be amazed. I'm here in Lagos. My money is working in like Kebi, like Jigawa. Strawberries, everybody's going into feed farm and all mm -hmm. that. Invest in all this um, healthy food. It is all over. There's nothing you want that you can't see online. Like food, food, and another thing, you don't have to do it yourself. You could be an investor for another business. There are so many people looking for money. Like, okay, you know what? If you loan us one million naira, for instance, you would get so, 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 and so in return. I'm talking about legitimate people. Not of people course, you would. definitely <laughs> have to. <laughs> no, <Not> people, <laughs> you would give your money to, and they would say, but you're a sister. You are my sister in the Lord. You are meant to forget. <laughs> no, Toke did not tell you that. So you need to be, and you know, there's nothing you can do without God. Yeah. There's nothing you, you can do without do. God. Yeah. So for me, like I said, your passion, my passion is what is making money for me right now. My passion, I'm just going to talk about giving because how to multiply your money, mm -hmm. you know. For someone watching and you're like, but my um, salary is 25,000 Naira, how do I do it? <laughs> First off, educate yourself, right? And I'm going to share one formula. Any money that comes to you, you break it into three parts. 50%, your, maybe your bills, like utility, utility. You know, 30, your that. savings, like that 30% is for you to save. Then 20% is for, okay, I want to buy hair, I want to do whatever. And of course, people like us, we sew everything and you know. <laughs> but I'm still going to talk about that. But honestly speaking, so many opportunities and everything is everywhere. It's so easy. It's on your phone. And then research. Another thing that I do, I save daily. Okay. I save daily, and that is, um, you know, last day I was able to buy my house, and people are like, ah, ah, how much? De -de 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 -de. My brother and my sister, it is all about calculative um, strategy. Mm. I save daily. What I do, I target how many people I need to market to in a day, how much I need in to a day make from them. to make from them, aside like the bills for, you know, um, overhead costs and all that. Then, if, okay, for instance, maybe I need, 10 people need to buy from me to be able to save this particular amount. I would shoot it to 20, right? So I would have that money. I saved daily, and that was how I was able to get my property. It, magic didn't just come from any, of course, grace, which mm. we'll talk about. I don't want to, you know, but <laughs> you save in bits. You'd be surprised. That money, 2,000 naira daily, 5,000 naira daily, 20,000 naira daily, you break it down to the, to the smallest, you know, target. Like, okay, if I'm to say 20,000 Naira daily, how many people do I need to reach out to daily? If it is 10, do 20. Mm -hmm. Have a target focus of 20. So at the end of the day, even if it is 15, 16, you still have your daily target. That was what, you know, really, even when there was lockdown and all that, I was doing more. Mm -hmm. And another thing, Guys, this is so paramount, and this is what everybody is doing right now, which you should do. Monetize your knowledge. What are you good at? Monetize your knowledge. Can you cook? Do you talk? You can see I talk. I'm already talking too much. <laughs> Monetize, and don't be ashamed, because God gave you that gift for a reason. There are some people, they can arrange anything. Get money for it. Oh, I can help you arrange your closet. How much would you give me? Don't say I'm shy. Collect it, save it. Before you know it, you are buying, you are giving, you are doing great things for the Lord. Okay, so you said so much about finance. You've even gone as far as telling us like specific industries to invest in. And I think that's really important for women. There's this particular um, verse um, in Isaiah 48, 17 and 18. And those two verses speak so well to me. Like, it's so important for you to know that God has given you everything. everything. Now, all you have to do is take that knowledge that he has given you. Because first, you have to know he has given you everything, right? No, no. And then go, you because God, God has given us the grace to transfer all the wealth of all these people into your pockets. Exactly. <laughs> so it is yours, right? And then I really like all the points that you've made. I'm, I've never invested in agrotech, but I think it's something I will look into. I've been seeing it. <laughs> and then the fact that you mentioned it, it shows because those stocks get sold out mm. so fast. So fast. So fast. Um, it's definitely something to look into. So thank you so much. Thank We're you. going to go on a very short break. And when we return, Toka is going to be giving us some tips on how to be your very best self.
Welcome back, people. We are still on a Lifestyle 360, and I am still your host, and we are still talking about money. So, Tokia told us so much about investments, budgeting. She even gave us the 50 20 30 rule, which is such an important rule when it comes to financial management. But we're not done with her. We're still going to be asking her on tips on how to be the very best version of yourself. So, Tokia. Mm. What would you tell us to do? How can we, you know, be our very best selves? <laughs> well, I'm going to talk fr um, from my own personal um, experience. Number one thing you need to do to be the very best version that God has created you to be, you need to believe in yourself. Mm. Everything is going to attack that word of God you have inside you. But you need to have that stubborn faith that no matter what, you will succeed. Mm -hmm. And you will succeed. So you need to believe in yourself. That is one. Two, you need to surround yourself with the right people. People you aspire to be like. People that have the word of God, the word to transport you to your next level. You can't be around people dragging you down. Ah, Nigeria is so this. Nigeria is so that. Or else you become like them. Very true. So if you want to be successful in anything, you need to surround yourself with positive people. People that when you talk about money, they are not like, ah, ah is it possible? Yes, it is possible. So look out for people. Pages. Not just people. Pages you follow on social media. Mm -hmm. Very, very important. Because you become who you see, what you see daily. Okay? Three, you need to educate yourself. I cannot say this enough. Most times from experience, even as a coach, most people are lazy. They want people to just say how Take to make money. Destiny Take. helper. <laughs> destiny helper. There's nothing like destiny helper. You are your helper. God has given you all power and authority. So you need to educate yourself. You can, you, 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 can, you can get anything you want. Number one, from the word of God, we have Rhapsody. Yes. Like Rhapsody is a manual for living. Anything, just read your Rhapsody daily. Two, educate yourself. You have, Google, you have so many, um, it, what, do you want to, what do you want to learn? What do you want to... That is not on the internet. There's nothing. There's nothing. Coaches are also checking the same internet. I am a coach, trust <laughs> me. I know how to, I know how to read. You know, most people, you cannot be lazy and say you want to be, you want to take over the world. How will you even know the world to take over? You know, there's, there's uh, a common thing that I've seen, especially with mentors, saying that some of the biggest CEOs in the world read at least 50, 52 mm -hmm. books a year. That is a book a week. And not two-page books or 10-page PDF, hundreds of pages You can't every escape week. it. And you that is the truth. It. You can't escape it because knowledge, there's something it does. You, you may not need it now. But whatever that thing is, you would remember it when the, the challenge comes. Like, mm -hmm. you would remember it. And another thing, you need to learn how to give. I'm not going to live here without telling you guys. I'm in the haven in um, Christ Embassy. And um, you need to learn how to give. Because the Bible says, give, and it shall be given back to you. You can't eat everything. If there's time to sow, there's time to reap. You need to learn how to give. You can even invest in someone else. Like you see a coach or somebody you're aspiring to learn something from. So into their it could even be it, it could even be accessories. It could be money open <laughs> gifts. Your gift can open doors for you. Okay, so and lastly, you need to learn how to talk. Hmm. I'm going to um, say, I'm going to end with this testimony. You know, recently. Of course, when you, when you own businesses, there are times that it will be like, gosh, am I doing the right thing? And I told myself, nothing is going to affect my mind. Don't allow anything affect that positive mindset because your mind is where you create your wealth. Your wealth. Mm -hmm. You need to talk your reality. You cannot, no, you, you must be a talker. You must learn how to talk yourself out of situations. You must learn how to talk money into your pocket. And that day, I sat down in my office, and I was like, oh, gosh, you know, ah, I needed so-so and so. Like, I just wanted growth. And I received a call from a popular um, TV, you know, reality TV in Nigeria. And they were like, oh, we love what you do. You don't remember me, but you gave me a piece like two years ago, mm -hmm. and your name just popped up. I said, Holy Spirit, thank you. 
And they added me without lobbying, without anything, because mm -hmm. I spoke it into fruition. I don't care how God would do it. Like, and that is what you need to learn. You need to learn how to talk. I made, if I were to pay for that slot, I'll be talking millions, right? Mm -hmm. And it came to me on a platter of gold. So wow. many opportunities, so many wholesalers. They would just say, oh, I was just passing by Instagram. I just saw your page. I'm not the only person selling Ankara on social media. Why me? I talk. Mm. I talk. Before you see it physically, I've spoken it like years or months or whatever. So you have to, with this point, um, trust me, the sky is just your starting point. <laughs> I have a question about talking. Okay. Now, you mentioned about, you know, speaking, um, creating your realities with your world. Mm -hmm. But now there's another aspect of talking that I'm curious about. How important is it to have your elevator pitch? You know, mm -hmm. when you say talking, not just, like, how do you sell yourself? How important is it to just be able, because, you know, there's this, um, also, this is saying also about being prepared. God is ready to bless you, but are you prepared for that blessing? Are you prepared to grab it you, and run with it? See, this question, in fact, Holy Spirit dropped it in your mind. So <laughs> beautiful, because many people would pray, but they would go sleep. Like now, I came in here looking like what I sell. Like I am my walking billboard. You have yes. to be your walking billboard. Like people shouldn't guess what you do. Whatever it is you do. So when you talk about talking, you have to be prepared, right? When, and it's also faith. Like when you, when you are prepared for something, when you've educated, like you've, you've done the education part of it, you've learned whatever, you need to look the path. Because some people don't look the path. Like, you must be ready. We shouldn't be. And whether you, your business is on social media, in fact, that people even have like five seconds on your page. <laughs> five seconds with you should sell, you should sell whatever you are doing mm. in, in five seconds. Like, you know, so whether you have the opportunity to talk or you just have the opportunity to so be seen, to see you. you must be your walking billboard. You must be ready. Like, people, if, if like, <laughs> I don't need time to tell people what I do. Once you see me, they you'd even smell from my business. perfume. Oh my gosh. Uh -oh. You'd already know that <laughs> money is talking. Yes. See, all these things is big. <laughs> it is not, I may not necessarily have the money, but with how I look, how I smell, how I talk confidently, you'll be like, oh, that's my girl. Give and because her the of contract. how great you look, it's easy for people to even trust you with money. Thank you. They would just assume, like, Oh, okay. wow. She looks like a bag of money. I might as well add one more bag. <laughs> Thank you. That is the trick. That is the trick. Many people come to me, oh, I don't know why I'm not getting customers. I just look at their page and I, why would you get customers? See cobwebs all over your page. Like, I, I can't even see what you do. You are talking to me about fashion, for instance. I'm looking at your shoes. Your shoe is like bent. <laughs> your, I can't, you, you are not smelling good and you are telling me you sell perfumes, dude. Have like. That. Really, really, <laughs> and you're like, God has made me big. We know, we know. Let us see it, <laughs> you know. So it's pretty easy, honestly. It is easy. I believe that if anyone, anyone takes even just one point that you have said today, their lives will definitely not remain the same. It will Amen. definitely not. It will honestly. definitely not. Honestly. Um, thank you so much, Tokyo. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'll, like, like every time, in fact, when I don't even have sessions with you in person, I just go to your page. Aww. I always learn something. Aww, and then you have just you. shown that you are a well of wisdom. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank She's, you. Oh God, my guests are too smart. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> thank, thank you so you. much for coming thank on the you. show. You look amazing as mm. always. Like a bag of money. <laughs> thank oh you. Oh, my God. Did you guys learn a lot? Hmm. If you haven't been saving, if you haven't been investing, if you haven't been talking, it is time to do that now. When we are talking about money, you should not shy away from it because really, why? Your, your God is a, your father is a money father. He's the wealthiest man. I, I can't imagine if they say your father is the richest man in Af only Africa. Will you, will you be quiet? You wouldn't be quiet. So mm -hmm. why should you have the knowledge that your God is the wealthiest father in the world in the universe in existence itself and then you are feeling small it's it's really unheard of so take advantage of the knowledge this knowledge that you have take advantage of all the things that we have shared on this episode and then please i only want to be hearing money talks because this year if it's not about money i don't want to hear it <laughs> <laughs> 
So when we come back after the break, we'll be talking about Ask Jay. So a viewer has sent in a question, and I'm going to be answering you. Then lastly, we have Style Dictionary, and that will be all on Lifestyle 360. We'll be right back after this break. Welcome back to Lifestyle 360, my beautiful, beautiful ladies and gentlemen, if you are watching. So, um, before we went on a break, Toke told us so much, so much about finance and really about keying into what God has already given you. There is one thing we constantly say on this show is that you are enough and you have everything from inside you. All you have to do is bring it out. Now, it is time for Ask Jay, a special segment where someone has sent in a question, and now it is time for me to answer. So let me go right into the question. Hi, Shay. I currently have a 9 to 5 as a HR professional, but I am looking to have a business as another source of income. I would like to know if it is advisable to take this on and how to balance both endeavors. Okay, this is a very good question, very, very good question. Now, it's very important to have multiple sources of income, but it's important for me to also know that not every source of income has to be a business. Now, there are investments that you can take, you can go into savings also, right? So you don't have to necessarily open up a business if you don't have the know-how. And then another thing I have to say is that even if you don't have the know-how, it's important to also try. The first step is to start, and then you will learn as you go. But then if you discover that maybe this is not what I'm the strongest at, then having investment is also good. Now, I'm not talking about invest small money, get 50% interest, 100% interest in one week. No, do not. Do, I will never advise you to do that. Now, there's so many um, investment companies where you can invest in mutual funds, euro bonds, you know, you can, there's so many things. Naira bonds, right? The treasury bills, there's so many of that. And then in 12 months, 24 months, you're getting 13% interest. And then there are also long-term investments that you can make. You can also go as far as purchasing property. It will work for you, trust me. And it is a source of income. You can decide to flip properties or, you know, do shortlets. So, sh you know, doing short, you, if you don't have the um, resources, to go ahead and buy a landed property. You can actually do shortlets. It's a very, very viable business, especially right now where tourism is really at its peak. Now you're asking if it's possible or advisable to go into both endeavors. Yes, it is very possible and I would advise you if you can and you think you have the know-how, definitely do it. But it's important to also manage your time. Now, you would not get the best of both worlds if you are maybe paying attention to one and then not paying attention to the other one. A business or even your job is really like a child. You have to pay attention to it, nurture it, feed it, invest in yourself to grow at it because you really have to be an expert to make the most money. People pay for your knowledge, right? So, darling, I would advise you to go ahead. Start that business. You will learn on the job. And trust me, you are on your way to having the biggest, <laughs> a global company. I hope I've been able to answer your questions. When we come back, we'll be looking at Style Dictionary. Welcome back. It is time for Style Dictionary, where we give you insight into simple lifestyle, fashion, and beauty terminologies. Today, we are focusing on finance, and the first thing we are looking at is equity. The difference between the price for which a property could be sold and the total debt registered against it. Compound interest. Interest earned on previously accumulated interest as well as the principal. Now, guys, that is all we have for Style Dictionary. My God, I learned so much today. I learned about um, the breakdown, the 50-20-30 rule. So 20% 
for your, for your personal spending. So if you want to go out on a lunch date with your girls, you want to buy fine clothes for yourself, you use 20% of your income. 30% is your savings. You lock that up somewhere, save in terms and in case of emergency. And 50% for your basic utilities, bills, rent, you know, any other thing and every other thing that are necessary. Those are your needs not your wants. Remember that. So I hope you learned that. So I think that's very important when it comes to managing your finances. I think it will help you go a long way. Now, ladies, that is all we have for today on Lifestyle 360. I cannot wait to share more with you. Until next time, I am still your Lifestyle Connoisseur, Shay. Bye.